Yeah, it's a weekday, but hey, there was one left in the stack. Damn! <sighs> G'day, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I don't know exactly what this channel is going to entail. I don't exactly know what I'm going to be doing with this channel, but all I know is I'm going to bring you with me on adventures. I love cooking. I like food. Is that a bum with a trolley? I like my VLs. I love my family. I love my mates. I love getting out. I've toned down going out with the mates a lot now, but regardless, um, I'm just going to take these on little adventures and shit I do. Um, a big one is on or like doing um, reviews on items because I find I always go to YouTube before I buy something. Money's important, you don't want to be blowing it on a shit product. I like a lot of Roby products, so I plan on doing a bit of a review on Roby stuff in the future. Um, today, I'm gonna to start building a shelf in the window of my canopy. Um, I looked at a few fit outs. I've had drawers in a canopy before. I've got a um, fiberglass canopy. Just takes up too much room. I just want a little shelf that's handy when we're camping or when I'm out and about, fishing or for driving out for the day with my mates. Just one little shelf in there, so I'm gonna knock something up. I've worked with wood once. It was a fucking disaster. Uh, so this, he's looking at me laughing. This could this could go anywhere, so. Hey mate, say g'day. This is Harlem, he's a little star. It's my boy. Yeah, like I said, this could go anywhere. So stay tuned, we'll get started. I'll show you what I'm um, about to build. So basically, this is my setup. Pretty simple. No slides or nothing. I access the fridge from the side. Keep a bit of gear down the side there. I've got a, I think it's a 40 litre. No, sorry, 70 litre water tank off the top of my head. Um, I'll go into that later on. But I love this storage room here. I can put mowers in. I can just put the dog in. Heaps of shit. Like heaps of height. I've got the ARB high canopy. Um, I want a shelf that sits in here somewhere i can put phones I'll eventually get a charging point so i've got to try and mount something here which would be interesting onto the canopy so i play with my bolts these two bolts there they're um little 10 mil bolts i took out the little black ones and i put in slightly longer uh stainless steel tensile Sorry, not high tensile, sorry, just stainless steel marine grade um, bolts. Um, I've made them a little bit longer because I want to attach one of these brackets in there. Sorry, that way. So this bit will sit over here. This shelf will go in here. There's two pre drilled holes. Be able to just whack the bolt through them. Only problem is the clearance doesn't get it on there, so I'll have to drill them out. Buy it. Are you gonna do anything constructive? Thanks, mate. If you wanna put these in, I should have just left them off. I wanna sort of use the existing holes there. It's an ARB canopy. I didn't, but the previous owner spent some money on it. It's obviously well fitted. I don't wanna muck around it with it and make bigger holes and things like that, so. I'm going to make my brackets fit the existing holes that are already there. Like I said, I'll do a review on um, my Ryobi products later. But the best thing I've ever bought is this impact driver. I can change wheel nuts, um, uh, you know, do work on cars, nuts, bolts, anything I need. Drill, anything with this impact driver. These holes are too small and they don't line up against the canopy, like I said. So I'm just going to drill these bad boys out. I'm gonna use my step drill bit, I think it's called. I'm no tradesman, all right, so don't hate on me. Die cast cam suitable for team lever handle, whatever. I think it's a step drill bit. <laughs> Arlo calls it a Christmas tree, but uh, you have measurements on the side there as to what, um, I guess, size hole you want. And you just put this bad boy straight in the impact driver. I love the fact that I've just got one well, impact driver. I don't have a drill as well. Just one for everything. Keep it in my car, it makes my wheels go flat. It's great. I use it for 10 pegs when we're camping. 
heaps of stuff. had to go bigger um and i'm an admin bitch man like seriously these little metal shavings go fucking everywhere and i suggest you don't wear thongs it's, they got in between my toes and i squealed so i don't know how metal workers do it tough bastards probably why they charge so much fucking money We're getting there. Not too bad at all. I just went to Bunnings. I got um, some. Man, don't quote me. I'm shit with measurements, but we got some. I think it's plywood. 150 by one meter wide, pre-cut. And I'm just gonna use off-cut for the back. But yeah, it'd be a good little shelf once it's knocked up. Good sunblock. Stay tuned. I don't know what I'm gonna do to this. Probably marine carpet or something. Fix the brackets up. Bit of playing to go. So much shady in here with that clothes. I forgot to tell you it's all. Um, the first two cuts of Bunnings are free. Every cut after that is 50 cents. Mm, save money. where we got to pretty good it's pretty sturdy it's not bad at all I've just got to um finish putting the oh test complete finish putting the um back and the sides on I'll probably end up doing some marine carpet in it but that's the shelf the side of your car Sorted. Stay tuned. That's it. It's a freestyle. The freestyle. fuck you want the fuck for free?